Was I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with uh, returning guest Doug Upstone from Sports-Watch.com. Doug, thanks for being here with us once again. Hey, Peter. It's great to be back once again. And, uh, and also, I want to turn the tables around mm -hmm. uh, and give you some props for a change. Oh, yeah. uh, a, cer a certain SBR Forum videos host I know mm -hmm. is 5-0 and o in his best bet run oh, yeah. in the Vegas Wise Guy contest, I happen to notice. Yeah. You're here, Mr. Loshak. For those who don't know, uh, tell us what that, what that contest is all about and what that publication is that it appears in. Yeah, it's 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 called the it's uh, the www.vegaswiseguys.com. It's been around for 28 years. This contest and uh, it's come back full circle where everybody had to put their own money in in order to you know create the prize money. Uh, we had, I think we ended up with like 90 or 80 to 90 different uh, handicappers, uh, including yourself and myself, uh, that have been in it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's fun. It's, you know, you got to make your choices early in the week in order to make it happen. But uh, a lot of people uh, do well from it. We sell the newsletter extremely well, uh, you know, from it uh, as well, because there's, you get so many picks to choose from. And uh, when guys like yourself are hot, uh, those are who people are following. All right. Right now, let's talk about the Rams at Bills. This is a sort of a kind of an interesting game. The Buffalo is a three point home favorite. Now, the Rams, of course, have suddenly uh, come on strong. They beat San Francisco last week after tying them uh, a couple weeks before that. And they also got a good win going into Arizona, but then they got a bad home loss to the Jets. The Bills, though, they, they have a great two headed running game that really uh, sort of shined, came to the forefront in the, their last game. So they do that again. You know, they're going to be pretty potent on offense, but the Rams D uh, did play well very well in their last game, holding down um, Kaepernick and the Niners. So I'm not sure what I would take here. I'm probably going to pass overall. What do you like here, Doug? Yeah, well, you know, the, the Rams, you know, like you mentioned, they've, they've won two in a row, and they're actually trying to get back to 500 uh, with, with their game in Buffalo. Now, St. Louis is actually now 4-0-1 straight up in the NFC West, but really has a great deal of work to do outside the division where they're just 1-6. Now, the Rams' offense, frankly, is rather pedestrian, and Sam Bradford doesn't have, or excuse me, he does have a rather ordinary cast to work with. I do like Danny Amendola, though, as a solid receiver with excellent quickness, and what he lacks in speed, he makes up with as being a really, you know, really good in route running in order to get open, and he's very precise in his, uh, in his actions in doing so. Now, Steven Jackson has lost a little bit in terms of his initial burst as a runner, but he still runs violently and really fits what Jeff Fisher likes to do in terms of a ball control offense. Now, if, if St. Louis is going to make it three wins in a row for the first time since 2006, the defense will have to contain the Bills' number four rushing offense to have a shot. Now, after allowing 35 or more points five times, the Buffalo defense is permitting just 17.3 points per game in their last three contests, which is exactly what analysts thought in the preseason that the why the Bills could be a pre, excuse me a playoff contender. And looking at Buffalo's best defensive games, that they for the most part have done their best work against run-of-the-mill offenses like St. Louis. Now, on offense, Chain Gailey. You know, he, I'm not sure what he is, what he was doing early in the season, throwing the ball as often as he was with Ryan uh, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick might be a Harvard graduate, but he sure makes a lot of silly and dumb mistakes in throwing the ball. And so, since they've converted to more of a rushing attack with Fred Jackson and home run hitter C.J. Wilson, the team has played a great deal better. And here's a fact about the Bills. When they rush 28 or more times in a game, they're 5-1 and one and 6-0 and oh against the spread. Now, in looking at this contest, St. Louis could be flat after their overtime win against Frisco. And history tells us the Rams are 1-9 against the spread after playing the 49ers. Buffalo seems to have found their way a little bit, especially since their bye week, and playing because they're playing better defense and rushing the ball with more regularity. With Buffalo 12-2 and two against the spread against teams under 500 when favored by six points or less, I'm calling for a Bulls stampede and a double-digit hmm. winner. Hmm. Yeah, great analysis, Doug. Great points. I think I am leaning that way, too, although I'm not sure if I'm going to bet it. Thanks so much, Doug.